guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm just going to be going over what I keep in my toddler's diaper bag I haven't made a diaper bag video since Will was oh gosh I don't even remember how old he was but he was still drinking bottles and it's been a long time so I'm going to go ahead and make an updated video so the backpack that I have is the same brand as the last one, Miss Fong. It is a, um, I think a Fawn Design is what it's called, dupe. It's very affordable. Fawn Design is like $150, $160. This one is only, I think like 50 or 60 bucks, but this is the mini. I don't remember exactly how much the mini was, but I think the full size was like 60 bucks. Um, I will link it down below in the description box. They're off of Amazon. Really, really great bag. Very amazing. I love the quality. It's beautiful. It's well made. The detailing is really beautiful. All the hardware. And I just, I really love this bag. I get a lot of compliments on it. And um, you can't even really tell that it's a diaper bag because it looks like a regular, like a designer purse. So it's really great and um yeah let's just dive right in so on the back we'll start back here you can see that there are there's a zipper pocket here and then there's a top pocket right here and just like in the last one I keep diapers and wipes back here just because they're easy to get to and you don't have to open the bag while you're in the bathroom like like a somewhere public and you don't have to kind of fumble around with it it's just right there easy to get and this back pocket opens up and you can keep like your phone or like if you have a small wallet or some money or something in there I don't have anything in there right now um I keep my phone right here in this front pocket and then I think that's all I have in here yeah that's all I have I just have my phone and it fits perfectly in this front pocket. Um, these two side pockets, there's a side pocket right here and a side pocket right here. I don't have anything in either of these pockets. I might put like a used tissue. Oh wait, oh, I lied. I lied to you. A Z-Bar wrapper. I was just going to say, I put like used tissues and little candy wrappers in there if there's not a trash can nearby, just so that I don't, you know, I don't like to litter. So I'll put like little bits of trash in there. And then on the side, it's got some um, stroller strap clip-on things. So I don't have the stroller straps put on, I just have a hand sanitizer. And so also on the back, it's got backpack straps and then this one strap. And it's made out of a, what is this material called? It won't even focus on it, it's like, seatbelt seatbelt material and then this final pocket on the front here I have a few things I keep my chapstick in here what else is in there oh oil like oil face wipes to kind of help like you get them out and then you rub them on your face and it's supposed to take the oil off your skin it's really great they work really well I have oily skin sometimes so it's really good if you have oily skin I recommend let's see I've got two pins in there and then oh my vaccine sticker saying that I got vaccinated and then I've got a hair tie and a shopping list that I need to throw away so that is all that's in this front pocket oh wait 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 oh just more hair ties so opening the main compartment this is what it looks like I just I have this packed for like how I would pack it if we were going out like shopping or to the doctor's office just a regular time out I didn't pack it for anything like if we were going on a trip or anything just because we don't do that often this is mainly what it looks like on the inside most of the time if we are going out somewhere so I have just a couple of things to keep him entertained. I've got like a book and this little fidget poppy toy thing that he really likes. Um, I don't keep this in here all the time. I'll like switch out toys depending on where we're going. Um, so I'll just grab like two or three little toys and just throw them in there. 
and then I also keep my gargantuan wallet since this is a smaller bag and the wallet does take up a lot of the space like you can see like there's not too much space in there which is fine because Will's a toddler now and he doesn't require as much stuff as he did whenever he was being bottle fed and like when he was a newborn so I like that it's smaller but since it's smaller I need to get a smaller wallet so I'm on the hunt for that if you have any recommendations of a wallet that you love definitely tell me because I am in the market so this let me see I'll show you what it looks like on the inside so now that the main compartment is fully open you can see that it's got a pouch right here for a drink and then another one here it's got a zipper compartment on this side an open compartment right there another zipper compartment in the back and then let's see oh yeah another little zipper right there and then just two open compartments right there so as you can see in this side pocket it's got spot a spot for like a cup or a sippy cup it's the only insulated inside pocket so that's where i put his cups at and directly on the other side in the other pocket right over here i'll keep like his medicine and then there's like an extra binky and then this is this is an ear pop i don't know where you could buy these my aunt owns some pharmacies and she got these for me i'm not going to open it because this is my last one but it's pretty much just it looks like a spoon and it's got some kind of hard candy up here that they can suck on like a sucker um i'll try to find a picture and link it somewhere or put it somewhere um i don't know where retail you can find it it did really help whenever will had earaches before he got his tubes put in so if you can find those great if not i i i don't know where you could find them but in that same pocket we've got some Mupersin ointment. This was from a prescription. I don't remember what for, but I keep it in his diaper bag. I've got a, another type of hand sanitizer. This is just a little spray. I keep some butt paste. I like the um, extra strength. This is just the original, but it's small enough to keep in the diaper bag. And then I also have some alcohol prep wipes. I did keep because I've got a syringe for it, some Tylenol. I think I ran out, so I'm glad I'm doing this because that'll remind me to put more Tylenol in the bag, but I just kept like a small travel thing of Tylenol. So in the front compartment, um, close to the front of the bag, I just have a bunch of snacks. Um, if you have a toddler, you know snacks are everything. So I always make sure I keep snacks in the diaper bag. So I've got some fruit snacks. I've got some Nutri-Grain snacks. I have a Z-Bar. And then I've got some yogurt-covered raisins. He loves all of these. And if I don't have any snacks when we go out, it's a nightmare because he just he likes to snack so in the back two compartments close to the back of the backpack in the open compartment there oh it's stuff for me <laughs> i didn't know this stuff was in here i've got a hand lotion this is hibiscus paradise from bath and body works this smells delicious it will not focus there we go this smells absolutely delicious and then i've got this special k cranberry almond bar for me so that's my snack in the zipper compartment towards the back like the small zipper compartment i don't know if i have anything in here let me see oh i do i've got let's see i've got oh band-aids because toddler you know fall scrape his knee i've got some azo back here just in case and then i've got some triple antibiotic ointment just in case he does like fall like i said and scrape his knee i could put this on there before i put the band-aid over the scrape and finally in this last zipper compartment i just have an extra shirt just in case you never know with a toddler toddlers are messy so i just packed an extra shirt whenever he was little i would pack like a whole extra outfit but i'm not so worried with about blowouts anymore like i used to whenever he was tiny so i just keep a shirt 
if we go out to eat like at a restaurant or something i will pack a bib um i don't pack like the silicone ones like with the little um bucket down here like the little compartment that'll catch the food i do pack one of the fabric kind just because since this is a smaller bag they fit better but other than that i don't think i mean there's this this will hold your keys but i don't ever use that i just kind of tuck it in the bottom but i mean that's it that's everything in the bag yeah that's it <laughs> This wasn't a very long video, uh, I'm sorry about that, but like I said, since he is older, he doesn't require that much stuff, especially like the formula and the bottles and the water, like he doesn't need all of that, so this is just the bare necessities and if i am going somewhere else i will pack whatever i need to accommodate to where we're going but as far as just like a basic outing somewhere this is pretty much what i keep in the bag so uh, I highly recommend this bag. I really, really love it. Great quality, like I said. Very beautiful, very well made. I get a lot of comments on it, so I will link this bag down below, and then I will also try to see if I can find a link to where you can get some of these ear pops because they are really great. And yeah, I mean, other than that, that's all I have. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. And turn on that notification bell so you know anytime I upload a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.